Hi there, my name is Alana and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my entire Kate Spade bag collection. Now I did a quick count and we've got about 20 bags to get through. We've got top handles, tote bags, we've got special occasion and evening bags. We even have a couple of pairs of shoes that I'm going to be sharing with you at the end. So I am so excited to be sharing my Kate Spade collection with you. This is a video that I've wanted to do for a while. This is a video that I know you guys want to see. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Now we're going to be kicking off this video with top handle bags. Top handle bags are probably, and I'm not going to say probably, they are my favorite. And I definitely discovered that through the Margo. So let's start with probably my favorite bag design that Kate Spade has ever released. So this is the mini Margot and it's in this beautiful, beautiful soft pink. It has a little tiny top handle. It also has a strap that can go cross body. Now I used to think that cross bodies were my favorite kind of bag but then I discovered top handles. And the Margot was a really great sort of transition piece for me because I kind of bought it because it was a crossbody bag, but once I started carrying it top handle, honestly, I couldn't go back. Now this bag is divided and it looks like it is too, but it actually has three sections. So there's one section on each side and then there's a little zipper compartment in the middle. Now I liked the mini Margot so much. <laughs> that I bought it twice. So I have it in this beautiful soft pink and this beautiful cornflower blue. But that's not all we have for Margot. We also have a medium Margot in black. Now this is the exact same bag shape. It has that same beautiful sort of inward curve here. It's got the V, it's got the three sections. And this is actually the bag I'm currently using, which is why it has things in it. So if you'd like to see a what's in my Margot, let me know and I'd be happy to share that with you. But this bag, I think it just looks so smart and collected, perfect for every day, perfect for work. And while the mini is youthful and fun and great for an afternoon, this bag says serious grown adult woman, but not in a stuffy way. I think this is such a stunning bag. And the worst thing I have to tell you about the Margot is that Kate Spade has discontinued it. Now they have replaced it with the Knot, sort of, although I think the Knot is more of a replacement for the Toujours line, which we will get into momentarily. Now I've been told by some sales assistants at my local Kate Spade that Kate Spade is bringing out what really is the next step in the Margot sort of vibe, the Margot theme, and that's going to be coming out, I believe, this spring, so for spring 2022. So fingers crossed that I love it. Now, speaking of the Toujours, I'm gonna start off with the Toujours in medium. Now this bag is in gingerbread and it's just such a perfect, warm, rich, I was gonna say crest nut, a warm, rich chestnut brown. I love this bag. This bag is a little bit more pulled together, um, but I love this bag in this colorway for fall. So it has a gold hardware. And again, when you open it up, it is divided. So there's one side, the other side, and the zip pouch in the middle. So a lot of similarities to the Marco. I had a really hard time choosing between the two. You can leave some videos linked down below where I compare the Tajour and the Margo and when I compare different sizes of the Margo. But overall, I think this is such a sweet bag. Again, it fits great in the crook of your arm and does go crossbody. Now, I believe I already mentioned it, but with the Black Margot, it also has a crossbody strap. Now, this bag is more than a piece of decor. This is my Pink Margot, and I did purchase this last fall as a back-to-work bag because I thought I'd be returning to the office. Well, I've been to my office twice since then, so who knows when that's going to happen. This is an absolutely beautiful bag, and just like her little sister in brown, beautiful, beautiful pebbled leather. One thing I should also point out is it does have that little sort of sweetheart secret pocket right in there, which is a great place to slip your phone or receipts or any little things that you want easy access to. And it does have the strap to go across body. Although personally, I find in this size, I don't really like carrying it cross body. I prefer that for the medium or in the case, of course, of the Margot in the mini. And last, but certainly not least, we have the bag that really started it all when it comes to top handles for me. This little oxblood bag has sort of a shiny leather. It's in this beautiful oxblood. And I did add a little kind of brown little pom-pom that I think really adds to the bag. I love using this bag in the fall. Similar to the other bags that we've discussed, it does have a strap to go cross body that I just keep tucked inside. And while I do enjoy how this bag looks cross body, my absolute favorite is to wear it top handle. So the next section of bags that I'm excited to share with you is my tote bag. Now I only have two tote bags from Kate Spade, but 
I'm obsessed. So the first bag that I wanted to share with you is the All Day Tote. Now the All Day Tote is actually available in two different models. So there's one with a zip across and then there's an open one. When I was a student and I was commuting downtown on public transit, I definitely felt more safe and secure with a zip across tote. But now that I'm either taking the GO train or driving downtown when I go into the office, which is, as mentioned, very rarely, because I'm generally driving, I'm a lot more comfortable with an open tote. And the other thing I'll say with an open tote is I can fit more in it. So this tote bag, first of all, super, super big, but it does have a little clip here. And I will say that I find that for the way I pack my bag and the way that I choose to store my valuables, I'm not worried about someone putting their hand in my purse. Um, this is the black bag. It has sort of a, a nude putty interior, contrast stitching, and it comes with a little, a little kind of little clutch. So the clutch that comes with the black is this really pretty burgundy. And I definitely, well, first of all, I definitely keep this just attached to the bag. So I only use it with this purse. The other thing I love about this purse, and this is a really tiny detail that I think makes a big difference, is it has a light colored interior, which I find that when you have a dark colored interior, whether the bag exterior is light or dark, a dark interior can really make a bag like this just a bottomless pit. So I find that that light interior makes such a difference. It makes it really easy for me to find my things. So if you're looking for a tote bag for work, I definitely recommend this one. Now stay tuned because I will be doing a full review on what fits inside this bag. So if you haven't already, please subscribe because that should be up in the next month or so. Now the next bag that I want to share with you is one of my absolute favorite Kate Spade bags and that is the Medium Market Stripe Tote. So this bag is in Kate Spade's iconic Jacquard floral print. I think it is so, so pretty. This bag is available in a number of colors, but I just love it in that gorgeous, gorgeous blue. When I saw this bag, the first thing I thought of was the Dior book tote. And uh, that Dior book tote is thousands of thousands of dollars, and this is about 250. So that was a really, really easy decision for me to make. One thing I was worried about with this bag is that you have sort of this light colored um, embroidery for the majority of the bag. It's not leather. It, uh, it has leather trim, but this is just honestly untreated, completely at risk embroidered, um, embroidered jacquard. And so that honestly really made me worried. What about spills? What about rain? What about stains? Well, I've been using this bag and going as hard on it as I have any other bag in my collection and no stains, no spills, no marks. So I'm super, super impressed by that. And the bottom of the bag, just to note, is leather and it has some little feet. Now this bag, you wouldn't believe it, but it does fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro complete with a case. So you open up the top and you've got a lot of room in here. I will say this bag does have a darker interior, which I just discussed not being my favorite. Um, but the beauty of this bag really, really makes up for it. I'll also say that this bag has nice long straps that fits really comfortably over my shoulder, whether or not I'm wearing a jacket. So if you live in a place that experiences real winter like I do, you will find that I think very helpful because this bag does not slip off my shoulders, which I honestly could not believe. So this bag is definitely a favorite in my collection. I always get compliments when I'm wearing it. And if blue is not for you, it's available in a pink and black combo, a sort of like a hot pink and black. There's a lighter pink and brown. There's a few others that come and go, and it's just really just such a well-made bag that I think just looks really put together, but still really, really fun and different. So the next section of bags I have to share with you are what I'm gonna call my sort of fancy crossbody bags. So these are bags that I would love to wear to lunch, I'd love to wear to a wedding, some of these I actually bought specifically to go to weddings. Some of those weddings may have been canceled through COVID. Now, first up, we have just an absolutely beautiful bag that I picked up at the Kate Spade surprise sale. Now, this bag has just lovely little scalloped edges, sort of a cornflower blue. You open it up and it has a deeper blue interior, all leather, and just a little tiny side pocket there. And like many Kate Spade bags, also has a little pocket there in the back that uh, apparently has things that I didn't clean out of it before this video. Uh, and of course, a crossbody strap. Now this bag I actually picked up at the Kate Spade surprise sale. I'm gonna leave that link down below because they always have amazing deals. They always have different bags that go on sale at different times. So if there's something that catches your eye, it's kind of a gamble between is it going to go on a better sale and get cheaper or 
is it going to disappear? Because I have seen both of those things happen. Now, this next bag is another bag that I bought at the Kate Spade surprise sale with the intention of wearing to a friend's wedding. So this is a little lilac with a little crossbody, sort of wallet on chain. Has light gold hardware and just like beautiful, beautiful ostrich detail leather little tiny sort of polka dot bumps all over it that just gives it just a little bit of whimsy a little bit of detail but so so subtle i think this bag is so pretty i love it so much i definitely wear this bag as sort of a springtime exclusive so while i'm sad that christmas is you know come to an end i am definitely excited to get back into spring pastels so this next kate spade bag i purchased it at winners when i was in university and I was absolutely obsessed. I'm actually pretty sure that I wore this bag to my university graduation. It's hot pink, it's got sort of a big bow detail on it, little polka dots on the inside. It's not leather lined like a lot of the bags are now. Uh, this one is sort of a vinyl line. The only problem is I broke the zipper and so I actually haven't used this bag in years, but I absolutely refuse to get rid of it because I think it is so cute and just holds it has some special memories to me. So one day I'm gonna take this to a leather expert and you know kind of get the zipper redone or something but it's a really really sweet crossbody and it is the only hot pink bag in my collection now this next purse truly is one of a kind in my collection and that is because it is a circular crossbody so this is the same kind of jacquard fabric as we saw with the medium market tote um, however this was in their limited edition cherry print so you can see it has some green cherries on it i have to be honest when i first saw this print I did not like it, um, but it grew on me. I think partly we're sort of seeing olive green, uh, both in terms of eyeshadow, in terms of home decor, just really starting to have a moment. And originally I didn't really think of olive and light pink as a combination that I cared for, um, but I was wrong. And I think this is beautiful. It has a beautiful brown leather. So for me, this bag is definitely an end of summer, early fall bag. And I think it's just so, so sweet. You open it up, and it actually fits a lot more than you would think. It has sort of a vinyl lining, it's got some little pockets, and it really, really sits beautifully on the body. So the next bag I'm gonna show you is another bag that was purchased either at the outlet or on the Kate Spade surprise sale. I can't quite remember. Um, this was purchased by my husband, and at the time I was obsessed, but my style has evolved, general style has evolved don't really see myself wearing it, but I also would never get rid of it. So this is a sort of, it's almost like a bowling ball style. It's in this sort of really light salmon. And I definitely prefer my light pinks to be more pastel. It has black detailing, it has stains all over the back. And if we open it up, we have a vinyl sort of Kate Spade bow. So this bag is definitely not still available, um, but I really, really enjoyed it when I got it and you know wear it cross body i didn't really use the top handle at the time but you know as i sort of looked back and reflected on this bag what i realized is that i really wanted a louis vuitton speedy and this bag sort of gave me the same vibe i now own a speedy um and this bag is just it's it's seen better days so we're going to lovingly put her back in her box now speaking of crossbody kate spade bags this one really has just stood the test of time. I've had it in my collection for years and I'm pretty sure that this is the Laurel Way Greer which is still available on her outlet. Now I have added a little fluffy pom-pom. In my opinion it really adds to the bag although it's not necessary. So when you open it up first of all this bag is a great dupe for the Louis Vuitton MM Favorite which has since been discontinued especially if you get it in one of their lighter options. But it has sort of a little decorative gold chain um, which you can kind of with a little bit of effort, get on front of the bag so that way you have a little bit more detailing. Again, I love it on the front, also with the fur. Uh, when you open it up, it has vinyl lining. So really, really slim bag. And this is a bag, what I love about it, you could wear it shopping with friends, you could also wear it to dinner. It's just a really elegant, understated bag. It's got just a wonderful texture to the leather. Um, and because of the way it's treated and the texture, it doesn't show signs of wear. Next up, we have an outlet bag that really, really has stood the test of time. This was my everyday bag in university and I graduated from university like more than five years ago. So this bag, first of all, I also have a little fluffy pom-pom on it. There was a time when I put fluffy pom-poms on all my bags. I don't really do that now, but generally speaking, the bags I have them on, I like it. I've paired that pom-pom with it. 
it works for me. So this bag is really great. It has a textured pebbled leather and this bag has truly been through the ringer. Not only is the logo still stamped on there nicely, but the bag, the leather itself has minimal signs of wear. There is a little bit of color fading on the edges, especially down here, but across the board, it's just a really soft, supple leather, and this bag will never leave my collection. So when you open it up, it has vinyl lining, still got some papers in there from a thousand years ago, but it's nice and big. What's really cool about this bag is actually the flap, you can unzip it, open it up, and then you can also fit things in the flap. It would then close and cross back over. So I used to love keeping um, either more valuable things or things I wanted easy access to in the flap of the bag because nobody knew it was there. It was like a little secret. So this next bag is either a Kate Spade surprise sale or an outlet bag. And I use this one a lot in university. I actually, I'm gonna link it. Please, please be kind to early YouTube Alana. Um, I did a what's in my bag with this Kate Spade purse like a thousand years ago when I was living like three three different homes ago. It's like I did a review of that bag before I started living with my husband just just for context. Um, but this is a really really sweet bag. It fits you know a decent amount and honestly well, I haven't used it in a while. I think it's still in style. I think it is still a bag that I could use. I think it's really, really sweet. And I just have a lot of great memories with this bag. And you know, it's so little, it takes up no room in my collection, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. Now, this next bag, I just got it for Christmas from my husband. I'm so excited about it. It gives me such Chanel vibes. This is the Bloom Small Flap Crossbody. So it has the kind of the double, double chain like we're used to seeing with Chanel's most iconic bag. You've got that same little back pocket here. You open it up and you've got the two sections on either side. I haven't used this bag at all. I like I got this for Christmas. Today is December 28th or 29th that we're filming. Um, but this bag is lambskin. It has just this beautiful, beautiful kind of puffiness to it. Beautiful sort of floral spade quilting. I think it is just such a beautiful bag. I am so obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear it. Keep an eye on my channel if you wanna see what fits inside and a review because that is also on my list to film in the next month or so. And I'm just so excited to take this bag out. Like it feels just buttery. The leather feels great quality. It just, honestly, Kate Spade did themselves. And as if that's not enough, my parents got me the matching gloves. So these gloves have the exact same sort of print, the same poofiness, the same luxury feel. So I'm really excited to wear the bag and the gloves together. Now next up, I have a couple of sort of one-off items. So first up, I have this adorable little mini backpack. It has that same sort of beautiful pebbled leather that I love about one of those previous bags I was showing you with the fluffy pom-pom. And just like that bag, it also has um, room to hide things in the flap. So I really like that it had so many elements from that bag that I had worn so much in university. When you open it up, um, it has leather lining for a bit, and then deeper down in this deep dark hole, it has a vinyl lining. I love the sort of hound's tooth on here. I think that is really fall and really trendy. It has a little glimmer in it. Like I just, I just think this is a really sweet bag and I never thought that I would love a backpack as much as I do. Next up, we have a little makeup bag. And again, this is just in that blue jacquard that I love that we've already seen on a bag. We're actually gonna see this pattern one more time once we get to the shoes. Um, this is just a really lovely little makeup bag. I love the look of it on a vanity. And what I would really love is to have somewhere to travel so I could bring it with me. And then next up, I have a little wallet on chain. And this bag for the longest time was my conference bag. Um, in the pre-pandemic times, I used to go to a lot of conferences. And I love this bag because it was so lightweight. I was able to carry just, you know, my room key if I was staying at the hotel, you know, maybe my room key, my ID, some cash, and my conference ID in here. And then actually in the back, there's a little tiny pocket right there that I would keep my business cards in. You open it up, you've got, again, just some really tiny little pockets. But what I like the most about this bag is just how lightweight and discreet it was. Because I find that when you're in a conference, the last thing you wanna do is carry around a heavy bag. For the last year, my appreciation and dare I say obsession with sneakers has really grown. I think it's in part because I'm not going to work. I'm not really wearing heels as much anymore, but I still want shoes that look cute and put together. So I fell in love with these Kate Spade Keswick sneakers. 
in the blue stripe that we've seen repeated many times in this video. And I've had these shoes for about a year now and they have held up really, really well. One tip I have for the side, um, for the white part, is just take a magic eraser to it every now and again to just clean them up. I did that just before filming and the shoes look good as new. The only thing I will say is that some of the rubber along here has started to show almost little signs of skipping, but honestly, I wore these shoes all over Disney World. I wore them all over our trip to the US. I wear these basically every single day. It's December and where I live, there's been bits of snow, but not really a ton. And because I'm not commuting, um, I don't really need to wear boots. And so I've been wearing these honestly, basically for a year straight. And I think they are in great condition. I think they are so cute. I love the little leather toe and I just, I just love these shoes. I love them so much that I recently bought them in the pink and brown combo. These shoes are a great fall spring shoe. Now, next up, I have two pairs of shoes that haven't worked out as well for me. So this shoe looks very similar to the Keswick, um, but it is not quite the same. So this shoe has a lot more leather on it. So it's sort of like a white leather, white um, laces and a little gold on the back. I'm gonna leave its exact name and it linked down below if it's still available. But because it's leather, the shoe doesn't breathe as much as the, so the fabric does, and it needs a little bit more time to work in. And I need to give it a chance to work it in, but I was not very smart. And I wore these brand new around Disney World um, because honestly, I wanted a little blue dress, white shoe moment in my, in my pictures. The pictures turned out great. The only problem is my feet were swollen and literally in agony by the end of the day. And the final pair of shoes I have, I'm gonna leave these ones linked down below. They look adorable. They feel comfortable. They're a little sling back. They've got just a really, really lovely sort of houndstooth plaid. The only problem is that these shoes, no matter how small I make them, don't stay on my feet when I'm walking up and downstairs. And so they look beautiful, I feel beautiful in them, they're comfortable to stand in, but if you need to walk up or down anywhere, which you're probably gonna need to do, um, these, these ones do not really work for my feet, which makes me sad because they're so beautiful and perfect. So that is nearly everything in my Kate Spade collection. I'm actually wearing Kate Spade earrings today that I picked up at the outlet. These are gold. They have like little tiny little butterflies on them. I think they're so, so cute. And you may have seen some of the flowers in the background. Let me show you something. These flowers are actually in a Kate Spade vase. So <laughs> this vase I received from a friend um, for one of my bridal showers. And it's actually really special between us because I gifted her the same vase for her bridal shower. So it's kind of like a little, it's like a little thing. We have like little matching Kate Spade vases. Now beyond what I featured here today, I do have some Kate Spade pajamas. I have more Kate Spade vases. I have some more Kate Spade homeware, Kate Spade wine glasses. There's, there's a lot of Kate Spade. Um, actually the lamps that are in my bedroom are also from Kate Spade. So I, I love Kate Spade. I, love it in really all categories. But today I really wanted to share with you my handbags and shoes from Kate Spade. Now I do have one or two older Kate Spade bags that I did not feature today and that's because they are in storage bins. They're kind of tucked away downstairs, like really, really tucked away, more for sentimental purposes. They're not really bags I use. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to answer them down in the comments below. I'm gonna leave linked down below all of the more in-depth reviews I have on any of these bags, um, any links for pieces that are still available, and keep your eyes out because a few of those bags that I haven't yet done reviews on, specifically the Market Tote, the All Day Tote, and the Bloom Bag, I will be working on reviews over the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited to share those with you. If you haven't already, please subscribe here at Classy on the Run. We love talking about luxury handbags and luxury makeup, brands like Kate Spade, Louis Vuitton, Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, honestly, like that might as well be my whole channel. <laughs> Um, but other other beautiful makeup and handbag brands too. So I will leave everything linked down below Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye Mwah.